here, and we're going to use this brother scanner right here, as you see. Now, this scanner is not hooked up to this computer. It's standalone. You can just run it without having it tied to a computer. All you need is a thumb drive like this guy right here. If you need one, you can borrow one from me. So, to get started, first thing I'm going to do is lift this lid up here. I'm going to place the artwork face down in this upper left corner, as you see right here. There's a little uh, icon here about putting it in the uh, upper left. Okay, it's right here. Put it right there. Okay, now let's turn the scanner on. Let's get a little detail of this. I'll turn the scanner on. Now it's going to come up and say it needs ink. Well, we never use it for printing, so all I'm going to do is hit stop exit, come over here, hit scan, and I'm going to stick this file, this uh, thumb drive, in the memory slot, excuse me, the thumb drive, USB slot here on this. Stick it in there. It's real simple. Put the lid down. Uh, again, hit scan again. Stop exit. Scan. And say scan to media. And it's going to create a PDF file. So I'll select that. And then I'll go ahead and hit start. Okay. So now it's going out and scanning. Now it, it creates a file. It's going to be some kind of a number and it says .pdf. On the thumb drive, it'll create a directory called brother, because this is a brother scanner, and it's going to write that PDF file to that particular thumb drive. So as you can see here, it's coming up and asking, it says next page. Well, I don't have a next page. I'm just going to say uh, do not remove media. I'm going to say no for the next page. And it says wait. And as it's finishing up, it just finished up, I'm going to take my artwork off here, put the lid down, and take my thumb drive out. Okay, before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. So I go to my Windows command here, and I'll launch Photoshop and get it going. So Photoshop's coming up. I'm going to go ahead and take my, my uh, thumb drive here and plug it into the top of the computer. And you can see the light flashing, and what it means is it's registering to that computer. Now, once that's done, I'm going to come down here while Photoshop is opening. I'm going to double click on this file folder here, and you can see it says USB drive D. So I'll double click on it, and there's my folder, brother, right here. I'll click on it and see where my file is. Today is 916, that's Cam's file. I believe it was probably this file here, but if not, we'll figure it out. Let me see the date modified. Uh, I'm going to think it might be this one here. Let's check it. may have to go through a few of them until I find it. It's going to go ahead and open up the PDF. Well, that's another file from someone else. So I'm going to go here and get out of this. And I'm going to search through these files until I find the right one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's my skull that I, that I scanned in. Okay, that's good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, go back to my directory and I'm going to take this file and I'm going to copy it to my desktop. So I show my desktop. And I'll place it right here on my desktop. Paste it. Okay, now with that done, I'll go to Photoshop and I'll open this file. And I'll go to the desktop here and there's my PDF file and I'll open it. just to make sure I can see the file real well. Now, first thing I want to do on this file is I want to take the file and I'm going to do a, a mesh, I'm going to do a modify of it. I'm going to darken it up a little bit by using these controls. Now, what I did was to get to this, let me show you that again, to get to the curves. You can go up here to image, uh, adjustments, and then you can come down here to levels which is, excuse me, curves right here, and I can pull this down and darken it up. You can see it just darkened it up. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is crop this image and make it smaller. So I'm going to come down here and crop it to here, scroll this in over to there, and hit enter to crop, and then I'm going to come over here to uh, image, go back to adjustments, and I'm going to invert it so it's black and white. That's perfect. Now I'm going to say file, export to uh, Legacy, and I'm going to say uh, JPEG. Let's look at it on a uh, go full screen. Actually, to say fit the view, and there's my file. That's great. I'll hit save. Okay, and it should save it to my documents. But I'm going to put it back on my desktop here. I'm going to call it Platt Skull hyphen S K U L L. Enter. 
So there it is. Now I'm going to go to AutoCAD here, create myself a new file, and come over here to this, and I'm going to say, actually I'm not even going to do that. What I'm going to do is minimize this, and minimize all of this, and I'm going to go find this file out here on my desktop. So I'll pull this over here, and let me see if I can find that file here real quick. Give me a second. Uh, there's my skull. I'm going to drag it over here and put it in my AutoCAD file. And it's going to come over here and ask me a size. I'll make it about that big. And I'll put it on this axis here. And there's my skull in AutoCAD. So now I'm going to be able to trace this in at this point. That's good.